What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here with The Quartering. Happy Monday to you. I hope your weekend was great. We've got a lot of news to cover today, and I also believe we'll be doing a live stream this evening. A lot to discuss, so I hope to see you there. Over the weekend, the DC Universe Twitter account put out a <laughs> expletive-laden tweet replying to Donald Trump. That's right. The DC Universe just got woke. Real Donald Trump, the only corruption comes from your administration, you dumb, family-friendly word. Now, you might be saying, "Have you? are you sure this is real? Oh, it's real. Not only is this tweet real, but they then deleted all subsequent tweets from the moment that this happened on Friday. Now, they have sent out, well, first of all, I want to lead off with, what exactly is the DC Universe? Well, it's like the DC version of Netflix. You're seeing a lot of these um, companies, Disney, Marvel, DC, all wanting to make their content available only a la carte and on demand to their customers. They're pulling back from services like Netflix and or Crunchyroll, for example, uh, so, and, and everyone's going a la carte, which is, in my opinion, a bad idea, but that's up to them. Uh, what happened next was hilarious. So what did the DC Universe do? Well, they fell back on the more hackers. And you might be saying, why would anyone want to hack the DC Universe's Twitter account to tweet about Trump? Well, yeah, exactly. That is the question I'm asking. Why would anybody do that? Because if... You remember what a real Twitter hack looks like? You need only look back at the hilarious string of tweets coming out of Buffalo Wild Wings this summer where they revealed that the secret recipe in their Buffalo Wild Wings is in fact Tommy's cum. They also talked about Wendy's touching kids and all sorts of uh, hilarious uh, edgy tweets posting pictures of themselves. This is what a tweet or a hacked Twitter account really looks like. It doesn't have one unrelated, hilariously insane tweet at Donald Trump. This is a hacked Twitter's account. This is a real DC Universe employee probably forgetting to log out of the corporate Twitter account before spewing their NPC orange man bad rhetoric. Now, I'm of the mindset that replying to any huge mega personality on Twitter is pointless. Uh, the idea that replying directly to Donald Trump does anything but uh, maybe releases some dopamine uh, to some people that need it or uh, provides some sort of weird cathartic release, um, this person, maybe they clearly knew that they were using the DC Universe Twitter account. And, you know, it's going to be... I would never endorse this, but I think it's great that since the DC Universe not only did not acknowledge that this even happened, they are actively leaking lies to their shills, and I'm going to get into that in a minute, but I think it's great that people are going to be reminding them every single time they tweet uh, for now until eternity that they did that. Oh, it looks like someone might have missed this one, but... I think that people should. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I like this. I like this. You know, tweet for a tweet. That's that's uh, you know, that's the real justice in the world. Since they are clearly going to lie to us and say that their account was hacked, why? You might be saying, Jeremy, how can you know they're lying? Well, because why didn't they release it on their formal Twitter account? Why was it just one tweet? And that's not what a hack looks like. Then they use their shills. If you have ever questioned, and I'm sure most of you never have because you're smart individuals, the absolute puppeteering that happens when you have your shills, whether it be in the video game industry, whether it be in the Marvel industry, anything with access level journalism, you know you are just a puppet for them. So then you get to see one of the dumbest puppets on the planet, Rich Johnston, release an article on his totally successful ad website with a side of random articles. Jesus, one, two, three, three ads, four ads above the fold. Take a 
break and a bottom pop-up. Jesus. Five. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're totally earning your money with this. You know, try to focus on good articles and 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 maybe you wouldn't need a thousand ads to uh, monetize. Anyway, President Trump took to Twitter last night to weigh in on the ongoing vote count. Again, nobody cares. This is a comic website, but here's what Donald Trump tweeted. The president has an interesting relationship with fiction. After all, it felt so it felt oddly appropriate when the Twitter account for the DC Universe movies and TV streaming service tweeted out this eyebrow raising tweet. It is eyebrow raising, which was certainly an interesting choice when it comes to social media promotion. So what happened? Was the intern given possession of the Twitter account? Was this a work, the work of a disgruntled employee on the way out? Did somebody want a dramatic way to get fired? Nope. I understand through DC sources that this was a hack. Bullshit. No, it wasn't. It absolutely was not a hack. And they are using you, Rich Johnson. And if, one, you don't know that they're using you, you're dumb. Two, if you know they're using you and you're purposely spreading this misinformation, you're a hack. You're probably both. Might I suggest that the DC Universe and representatives of any other corporate Twitter accounts reading this article consider switching to two-stage authentication. Oh, that's right. A billion-dollar corporation lets just anybody have access to their passwords for their social media. Mm, yep, yep, yep. But let's make this about Trump because that's really what it is. Would Trump even use that service? How much... We know how much Donald Trump likes Bane, but sadly, The Dark Knight Rises is unavailable on the DC Universe streaming service right now. Perhaps he'd watch Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, instead. It would become his favorite, you know? You never know. Would he empathize more with Superman, Nuclear Man, or Luthor? That's right. Rich Johnson, corporate shill, spreading misinformation at the BS. And Jesus, one, two. This is also beyond, I think, back in the day, the most ad words, ad, AdSense ads you could have on a page was four. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm not even halfway down the page. Jesus. Earn your ad revenue. This is the this is the uh, blog version of putting 19 ads in a 10 minute video. So what we have is, of course, a lie by the DC Universe. In all fairness, I am. This is what probably happened. This absolutely was not a tweet done on purpose by the DC Universe. I don't believe that for a second. If it was, then why did you delete it within seconds? But what this was was the person who has access to your social media account tweeting expletives at the president in some sort of insane rant that they must clearly do on their own personal time, which they are, of course, entitled to do. And look, I've been on record as saying before that attacking the Phantom absolutely should not be a fireable offense, or should be, I'm sorry, a fireable offense uh, for employees, but also... One's personal opinions should not lead to being fired. However, when you make such an absolute boneheaded decision that will undoubtedly cost you monthly subscriptions to your service and will undoubtedly fill your Twitter timeline with people reminding you of this tweet for many weeks to come, one wonders why DC Universe didn't just come out and say, you know what? It sucks. It was a mistake. But unfortunately, mistakes have consequences, and you know we've we've uh, moved this person in the company. We've taken away their their Twitter rights. I'm not saying people like this need to be fired. I actually think it's better for us to point and laugh and choose to vote with our wallets. So if DC Universe um, has any of your money, if you happen to subscribe to them, and you happen to let them know that you have now unsubscribed because. Well, you don't like working for a company who has so few restrictions on their social media people that they can just log into their personal account, log into the work account, and tweet out whatever expletives they want at the president. I feel like that is a more just answer. I don't want this person fired. I want DC to acknowledge 
that this is the person that runs their Twitter account. This is how this person thinks. And um, that's about it. You know, it, I think it's funny. It's it's more egregious. You can say what you want about our president and you don't have to respect him. That's totally your right. Um, I find that the NPC tweet is far less egregious than DC not coming out and owning it. I don't want this person fired. The person who should suffer for this is the DC universe, not that employee. Because what the DC universe should have come out and said is, hey, look, this is what happened. <laughs> we disavow what they said, but mistakes happen. We're sorry. Moving on. But instead, what they did is they chose to leak lies through their corporate shills and lie directly to the fan base instead of owning it. That, my friends, is a hilarious way to start a wonderful Monday here in November as Thanksgiving gets closer. I'm always thankful for folks suffering from toxic Trump derangement syndrome. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.